those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I was sitting down to customize my FabFitFun box. I am just so impressed with a lot of the add-ons and different options that they have this season, so I wanted to sit down and just take you along with me. So before we dive in, I do wanna share with you the timeline just to make sure that you're not missing out on any of these opportunities. So I'm gonna read straight from their website, and it looks like add-ons open for annual subscribers, so those who pay for four boxes for the year up front. That opened on February the 4th, and they have a customization starting February the 5th. We're obviously well past that date, so now is your window. And then you have until February the 8th, if you're an annual subscriber, to make all of your selections and choose all of your add-ons. But if you are a seasonal subscriber and you just pay each season and decide if you want the box, then your timeline is a little bit more delayed. You have access to add-ons on February the 18th, and then your customization starts on February the 19th. So now that you understand the timeline behind everything, let's dive right into the box. All right, I think we're gonna start with the add-ons just because that's what I did first because it opened first. And you'll see this big window pop up when you go to select your add-ons that it's like you don't check out, you don't buy them immediately, you will be billed when your box ships and then all of those items will also come with your actual spring FabFitFun box. So that is how that works. So you click got it, start shopping. And then you could shop by category, you could shop by specific item. Um, they typically tease a couple of items up front, but for me, I just like to scroll through the entire thing to see what the product offerings are. And since I did this ahead of this video, I can just jump in and kind of show you the things that I picked out. So the first one, I had mentioned in my product empties video that the Clarisonic is out of business and I'm looking for something to replace that. So I did go ahead and add the PMD Beauty Clean Pro. It's in this really pretty blue color and it has silver accents and it does retail for $99, but I had a bunch of credit and so I thought that this was probably a good time to get it. It has multiple speeds. It even has this thing on the back that can allow you to apply skincare with like the vibrating brush head, which I thought was pretty cool. They also had one of my favorite living proof products, which happens to be the full dry volume blast. I personally like it a little bit better than the Orbe texturizing spray. They do the same thing. I think that the living proof one does have a stronger smell. So if that affects you, probably don't get it, but it does a really good job of adding texture and creating volume because the nozzle on it is like, super duper powerful. So definitely snagging that because it's only 12 bucks and originally it's $30. I'm also getting the Ola Herskin Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream. I've had this before and I feel like it came in a sample from Sephora or something and I absolutely loved it. I'm already out of my daytime moisturizer and so I thought that this would be a great replacement for it at $17, regularly priced at $46. So I feel like this is such a steal and I know that I like it already and so it's kind of like you can't go wrong. I was also thrilled to see the Kaja Beauty Bento in Toasted Caramel. The packaging on this is super cool. Not that that really matters a ton, but I had just watched Jessica Braun talk about this Kaja trio, very similar to this in one of her recent videos and she loved it. I love the Maybelline color tattoos where you can just use your finger to put it on and this is the same kind of creamy formula and I thought this would be a great little trio to travel with. It's neutral colors, it has great reviews on Sephora and it's only seven bucks and it originally retails for $21 so for me this was a no-brainer and I also love that um, these are all like popular products now that you can like go look up on Sephora. So I was reading reviews about all of these things, seeing swatches of them. But know that in the add-on section they have like a ton of legit items. It's not just old things that were previously in FabFitFun boxes. Another living proof product that I'm really pumped about, it's the Style Lab Control Hairspray. This is an all day firm hold, which does make me a little bit nervous because I'm definitely a light hairspray type person, but I'm gonna give it a go. And I don't use hairspray all the time, and so I think it'll last me a long time. The last product I'm gonna get is the Kula Sun Silk Cream. I am always looking for good for you or like better for you SPFs because I do wear sunscreen on my face every single day. And when I go to the beach and things like that, I don't like to use just like your body sunscreen for my face. So I'm always on the lookout for face sunscreens in these add-on sales because they typically have them, especially from the brand Kula because I've loved so many different ones that they have. And this one is supposed to be like a really light formula that kind of goes down matte. I have a hunch it's gonna layer really well under my makeup, we'll see. But this is $19 and it originally retails for $42. It's SPF 30 and it's organic. And I did do some research and double checked that it is wreath safe, which I'm always in the market for too. So 
very excited about that product. If you buy over $15 worth of add-ons, I think it is, you get the option to add on these two free items. So you had the option this go around of like Smart Water or the Four Sigmatic Plant-Based Protein and Sweet Vanilla. And I've tried the Four Sigmatic like mushroom something protein in the past and liked it. And so I thought, shoot, like for a free packet of protein, it was definitely worth it to add it to my cart. So I'm excited to give that a try. Again, you do have to spend over a certain dollar threshold to even get that option. So if it's not readily available for you, that's they why. have so many more add-ons than what I just showed you. More skincare, more beauty. They have fashion pieces where you can actually buy clothing, things for your home like rugs, lamps, things like that. They have things for your pets. And this season, it looks like they're partnering with One Tree, One Tree Planted. So $1 equals one tree that gets planted and then you can donate up to, I think, $50. So that's pretty cool if you have any credit or if maybe you're just looking for different ways to donate this year, you could consider adding that to your box. And then they'll just charge you at checkout, just like they would if you were to order an item that gets sent with your FabFitFun box. So now that we've talked about my add-on picks, I do wanna go ahead and just take you with me to customize. And I don't typically do this because I don't wanna spoil all the surprises, but I feel like we have a lot to talk about here. And I had gotten several comments of people asking me like, what are you gonna get? I'm not super excited this season. And I definitely have some things that I'm excited about. So I just wanted to take you along with the customization process and then we can do our unboxing later this spring. Okay, customization one is massive. And honestly, this is something that has grown over time. When I first subscribed to FabFitFun, which I'm pretty sure was either in 2016 or 2017, they used to only have like two or three items. And in fact, maybe the first box that I even got, you couldn't customize anything. So they have definitely grown and changed and shifted throughout the years. And so now it can be really paralyzing to try to make your selections. So for me, one thing that Brian and I are focused on right now, as we're trying to like outfit our home and really make it feel cozy. I'm always in the market for home things. So I was actually really excited to see this little water hyacinth tray with cutout handles. I think that this would go really well in our guest room or if we wanted to, we could kind of stick it in these shelves. I'm technically in my office, AKA the living room, <laughs> but we have these big pieces of furniture that I'm always looking to fill with like kind of useful items. I don't know. So I really liked the tray, but I was having a really hard time deciding between the tray and then also this moisturizer. And it comes from Pericone MD. It's the Essential FX. I can't even pronounce it, but it's basically a rejuvenating moisturizer that is supposed to really help with like creases and fine lines. And I've been noticing a ton of creases in my forehead area just because I'm a very expressive talker. Anyway, I just figured I would give it a shot. It normally retails for 98 bucks and you can get it added onto your box for 15. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that if you've been a subscriber for a little while, you may recognize the CalPak set of three packing cubes. I actually have them. I chose them in a customization set once. And this could be a really good thing if maybe you wish you would have chosen them last time and now they're available again. But one thing I've started to notice just the longer I've been a member with FabFitFun is that it's truly more advantageous to be a newer member, like one to two years, because they do have a ton of repeat products. So just something to keep in mind. For customization number two, this one was super easy for me. I was really excited to see the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil, mostly because I think that's gonna be great in the summer when my hair's a little bit drier from being out in the sun and that whole thing. But you can also use this on your face. I just feel like it's a really versatile oil. And so for me, that was like the easiest choice. I have plenty of slippers. I know that I'll never use the Gaiam Ultimate Core Toning Kit with like the little ball and like very confusing stretchy thing. I already have a planner. I don't need a lunchbox because truthfully, I'm not going to work. I still work from home and so that wouldn't be super useful. So for me, the Argan Oil was the clear winner. And the next customization set. I'm sorry. Bucket hats are not coming back in my world. So that was a clear no. If you're really into bucket hats, I'm sorry you have that option. But that for me was a very easy skip. A hair mask. I already have plenty of conditioner and I'm never blown away by hair masks. So that was a no. Super eye serum. I have a ton of eye creams I need to get through right now. That ring is not truthfully my style. So I ended up going with the seagrass coasters. I think that they'll again complement that little water hyacinth basket thing that I can put in the guest room for coasters on the nightstands. So I thought that was like a cute little duo. Customization four. I went back and forth. But 
between the Larkin Ives hair scarf bundle and the Erno Laszlo Sema deep cleansing bar. And I ultimately chose the deep cleansing bar because it's something that's a little bit unique, just something new in bar form. It doesn't have any like wasteful plastic packaging. So that was intriguing. And I already have a couple of hair scarves that I love and I really don't need much more than the three that I already have. So that was how I ultimately said no to it. I've had some things from the Grown Alchemist line before and wasn't super blown away, but they're good products. I just did not need lotion. I've had the papaya enzyme peel before and I didn't need the makeup organizer and I have plenty of like facial cleansers. So I'm really excited to try that deep cleansing bar, just something that's a little bit different. All right, customization five, and I think the one that we just talked about customization four were only for annual subscribers. So if you are a seasonal subscriber, you won't have the option to customize these two categories. So that is incentive for you to join and be an annual subscriber because you get access to add-ons first, you get access to customization first, just in case things run out, and you get to actually choose more of what comes in your box. So you have a better chance of really loving everything that you get. So in this little bundle, I ended up going with the Cocoa Floss Tropical Trio. I'm a little nervous because I'm typically like a minty floss person, but I've heard wonderful things about Cocoa Floss, so I'm excited to give it a try. And I also didn't need the Market Tote. I didn't really know what I would use it for, and I have plenty of reusable grocery bags and reusable produce bags. I don't need any aloe-infused socks. I have too many tweezers as, as it is, so that was a clear no. And then I haven't loved a lot of what I've tried from the Pure Cosmetics line, and so I opted to just go with the Cocoa Floss, and I'm crossing my fingers that I like the tropical flavors. So this is interesting. After you submit your selections, it takes you to this refill screen. And from what I can see, this is kind of like a subscribe and save. So you can add these items to your cart and they'll like routinely send them to you each season, which is interesting. None of this is really striking my fancy, so I'm gonna move on to the next screen, which happens to be boosters. Now last season I did get some living proof shampoo and conditioner that I love from the boosters, but the only thing kind of interesting to me in this bunch is the Ola Herskin Banana Bright Face Primer, and I'm not even really a primer person. So I think I'm gonna skip this too and click finish. And then now everything is set and I have everything that I need for the spring 2021 box. So I look forward to you joining me for the formal unboxing here in a couple of months. Hopefully this was helpful to show you what's available. And if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.